schedule, the presidential primary season came to a quiet close with Hillary Clinton defeating Bernie Sanders in the Democratic contest in Washington, D.C. She now takes on Republican Donald Trump in a CBS News poll out tonight, finds Clinton has a six-point lead. Trump has advocated a return to waterboarding terror suspects, and the CIA has just declassified documents from its so-called enhanced interrogation program. This release was a response to a lawsuit by the American Civil Liberties Union, which claims that the CIA tortured suspects. Here's David Martin. The heavily censored documents give a real-time look into what the CIA was thinking when it began waterboarding senior al-Qaeda captives. This is a train wreck waiting to happen, one officer wrote, announcing he was quitting the CIA. But Director George Tenet assured the White House so-called enhanced interrogation techniques enabled CIA to disrupt terrorist plots, capture additional terrorists, and collect critical intelligence on al-Qaeda. The first al-Qaeda prisoner to be waterboarded was Abu Zubaydah. A draft memo shows that before the waterboarding began, the CIA wanted Attorney General John Ashcroft to state in writing he would not prosecute anyone for what they were about to do. And a cable from the secret prison where Abu Zubaydah was held said he must never be allowed to tell what happened. We need to get reasonable assurances that subject will remain in isolation and incommunicado for the remainder of his life. Abu Zubaydah was waterboarded 83 times, but an evaluation by the CIA's Office of Medical Services said AZ probably reached the point of cooperation even prior to the institution of enhanced measures. The same Office of Medical Services also pointed out what appears to be a glaring conflict of interest. Psychologists who had a say in whether the enhanced interrogation should continue were getting paid $1,800 for each day they worked. Eventually, the CIA stopped using some of the harsher techniques. The CIA director told his staff President Bush was, quote, concerned about the image of a detainee chained to the ceiling, clothed in a diaper, and forced to go to the bathroom on themselves. Scott? David Martin reporting from the Pentagon. David, thank you.